Attention, guys. The countdown is on. On October 18th through the 20th, we have an epic event that will be a blessing on your journey as a man of God. Get ready for the Iron in Autumn Men's Retreat happening at Abundant Blessings Farm in STEM, North Carolina. This is a men's only event, guys. You have to be 18 and up to come. So imagine disconnecting from the noise of the digital world we live in and immersing yourself in the presence of like-minded brothers in Christ. Together, we're going to embark on a journey of self-discovery, camaraderie, and personal growth. And this retreat has it all, guys. Bonfires, hiking, group sports, time by the pond, fishing, powerful scripture sessions, heartfelt testimonials, and of course, some great food. Yes, we're even camping under the stars. The spots are limited, so don't miss your chance to be part of something epic. So you can book your adventure now at thelionwithin.us slash events. So if you have questions, reach out. I'm here to help. I'm here to answer them. I can't wait to see you there. That's thelionwithin.us slash events to reserve your spot today. Welcome to The Lion Within Us, a podcast serving Christian men who are hungry to be the leaders God intends you to be. I'm your host, Chris Granger. Let's jump in. All right, guys, fun Friday time. Let's get right into it, okay? So the scripture of the week this week is in the book of Romans, chapter 7, verse 24. It says, what a wretched man I am. Who will rescue me from this body that is subject to death? And guys, I'll unpack that scripture at length. So back up two in your podcast feed to the, to the SKO, Spiritual Kickoff. And what we do with that, just kind of give you a framework. We try to help you simplify and apply that scripture to your life, okay? So it's one thing just to, to, to read scripture, just to, to have it in your head. But then to apply it, that's where the discipleship comes into play. That's where really it, it comes down to, to moving the ball forward. And hopefully that's where you're going to get out of that opportunity when you, when you listen to that, uh, to, that episode, to that episode in particular. So you can see how you can apply it to your life. Now, if you missed the last episode, and for some reason, maybe this is the first time you listen to Lion Within Us, and this is the top one on your feed. You got to back up one, okay? <laughs> you got to back up one. Because our last conversation, we had Pastor Joby Martin from the Church of 1122 out of Jacksonville, Florida, and he brought the hammer. I'm telling you guys, this is the third time. That's right, one, two, three. Third time that Pastor Joby has recorded with the Lion Within Us. Each time it gets better. I'm telling you, each time it gets better. I don't know. It's just, it's just I'm, I'm more comfortable. For one, just the com- the conversation seems to be a natural flow. And he hammered on some just incredible areas from forgiveness to LGBTQ plus and how should that be viewed from uh, pro, uh, pro-life versus pro-choice and where should Christians land on that? The IVF. I'm telling you, there's not many areas that we did not uncover together. So you want to listen to this one. He has this new book. We're going to talk about that here a little bit later in this episode. But the whole book revolves around this idea of grace, that unmerited favor. And what, and what does that even mean? And how we as Christians should be responding to the grace that is poured out to us. So I'm just telling you, you have to go listen to that episode. I love to get your feedback on it. And then also share it out with others. Okay, share that episode out because Joby brought the hammer. And I want to make sure we get this in as many years as we possibly can. All right. So now let's get to our tips. On a fun Friday, we always do a health, wealth, and a self tip. That health tip is how do we have stronger minds and bodies? We got to have that as Christian men. For a wealth tip, we need to be better stewards of our finances and our careers. So what can we do there? And then the self tip is how can we improve as husbands and fathers? Because this is an incremental improvement. You're not going to fix this anything overnight, but day by day, a little bit. Over time, we should be getting better. And that's what this is all about. All right. For the health tip, I want mine here. <clears throat> and I want you to think directly about what you allow to come in that speaks and helps you grow and transform. Because in Romans, it says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So you need to be careful about what's coming in so that you can have that transformation. I'm going to give you two resources that I use all the time. That's the 1122 podcast that comes out once a week. It's the sermons. Now, it may be Pastor Ryan Britt or it may be Pastor Joby or they have other guests, but it comes out every week. 
And then the Deepen podcast, so that's D-E-E-P-E-N, the Deepen podcast with Pastor Joby Martin, where that comes out once a week as well. And it's usually Joby, uh, Britt, and some others out there who are just digging in. They're, so they're taking the topic that they're focused on, that they locked in on, on their sermon, and they're unpacking it you know, with, with um, deeper so that you can have a better understanding. So if you're struggling with a certain area or you're struggling with certain scriptures, this is the podcast you want to listen to to, to see, okay, What's the story behind the story? What's what's the context that I need to understand at a at a deeper level? So those are two resources. I'm telling you, they bless me weekly. Uh, it's by far, it's hands down, what's helping me grow spiritually the most is just by those couple resources. Uh, and I think there'll be a, just a, a tremendous blessing to you. All right, so just check it out. The eleven twenty two says E L E V N, and then the number twenty two uh, podcast and the deep podcast. All right. For a wealth tip, going back to some fundamentals here for stewardship, tithe first challenge. That's it. You got to start tithing first. Because if you if you do that, you, you're saying, you know what, God, I trust you. And so often, I've coached people for so long now, and just anytime I talk and we start off, it, it usually surfaces. We treat the tithe upside down in the whole budget. We say, you know what, we, we, we see, we want to spend, 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 spend. And then what's left over, I didn't see what's left over. And then at that point, we'll figure out what we want to do. And I was like, no, flip it upside. Flip it. Give first. Live on the rest. And do that. Not because of some rule-based system, because you want to honor and glorify God. And that helps you get the right priority, right? And when you get the right priority, the rest of the budget is going to start falling in line. Because if you're focused on honoring and glorifying God, then the stewardship, it's just going to happen. It's going to drive you to do that, right? So again, making sure that you're intentional about this. Don't wait for to see what falls out, where, where things land. No, I'm going to be intentional as a steward because God has blessed me, and this is how we're going to choose to tie. All right. Now for a self-tip, Proverbs 15.1 says something very simple, guys. It says, a gentle answer. A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Okay. So consider a Proverbs 15 one response the next time that uh, you get into a little bit of a situation. Okay. And what you have to do here is giving us a soft answer, uh, particularly when you're talking with your spouse or your children. And sometimes tensions can be high, and when tensions are high, you know what? We, 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 we lash out in anger. But that gentle answer, that turns away that, that anger, that wrath, that, that harsh, uh, a harsh word can stir up. And you have so much power in your tongues. Choose how you unleash that power wisely. Make wise decisions. Don't just go willy-nilly and just saying stuff. No. Choose to use it and, 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 and unleash it in a wise manner. And that soft answer right here, a gentle answer, that's going to serve you so much better than coming hard all the time. <clears throat> all right, guys, so that's it. Your three tips, your health, wealth, yourself, listen to 1122 and deepen, that tithe first challenge, and that Proverbs 15, Proverbs 15 one response, all right? Now, the book of the week, no surprises here, guys. We got right here, run over by the grace train, by Pastor Joby Martin with Charles Martin. The forward was written by J.D. Greer. Absolutely love this book, guys. You're going to enjoy it. I just got to add this to your resources <clears throat> that's out there. Add it to your library. Uh, go check out the show notes links as well as we'll make sure we have that in there so you can go ahead and get your copy. All right. Now, for our dad jokes this week, we got two good ones. Dad joke number one, why did the coffee file a police report? Hmm. Because it got mugged. There you go. So that's it. Why did coffee file file a preach report? Because it got mugged. Number two, how do you stop a bull from charging? Well, you just had to cancel his credit card. That's what you got to do, fellas. So there you go. Remember, our rolls totally count, but let me know which one you like. Number one and number two, why did the coffee file a police report? It got mugged. Number two, how do you stop a bull from charging? Yeah, cancel his credit cards, fellas. So again, don't shoot the messenger on this one, but if you got a dad joke you want us to use, support at the line within us. Send that dad joke in. If we use it, we'll give you some free swag. We'll hook you up just for be being a good sport and help us out. All right. So now, again, the question of the week we kind of been talking about all week is do you see Jesus as a coach? 
for your savior. Now, how you answer that matters. Totally matters. You can't just be a coach. No, he has to be your Lord and Savior. Getting this mindset right changes everything. And if you need help with that, come to the Land Within Us community. Join right now where we can help you figure out, okay, to be a disciple of Christ, what does that truly mean? What does that mean? manifest? How does it manifest, rather, in my life? Am I doing the things that God's called me to do today so that I can advance the kingdom here? so that I can honor and glorify God, so that I can, can, can lead my family well. That's what we want to help you with. That's why we talk about health, wealth, and self, and trying to help you grow in all these different areas, because I know the evil one's trying to destroy you. I know he's trying to take you out. Therefore, we're trying to build up resources to help you fight back and push back and fight like crazy against the attacks. So if you need help, the lionwithin.us, let's get it started right now. We do it. We offer a month for free, guys. Try to you start your 30-day free trial or join the daily SKO for free. Whatever you want to do. Our summit, we have so many different ways. Check out our devotions on version. We have lots of devos out there. Where we try to help serve people. Guys, it's all about helping you grow. So guys, have a great day. Get after you. If you need anything, just reach out. We'll see you next week on the line with Dennis. Share the stuff with, out with others, the line with us. Be a, a donor of the show. That would be tremendous if you would consider doing that. Raise and review always, reviews always help. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for listening. It's been a great week. Thank you again to Pastor Joby Martin for the 1122. And guys, just remember to keep unleashing the lion within. In a world full of noise, finding your purpose requires strength, focus, and unwavering faith. At The Lion Within Us, our community is more than just a place. It's a brotherhood of Christian men committed to being the leaders God intends you to be. Here, you'll find the support you need to face life's challenges, grow stronger in your faith, and become equipped to face the battle that you're in. Stop waiting for tomorrow. Your 30-day free trial is the first step in your discipleship journey. Join us today at thelionwithin.us. That's thelionwithin.us and start living with his purpose. Are you ready to unlock your true potential? Introducing 30 Days to Unleash the Lion Within, a revolutionary series that will transform you into the leader God intends you to be. In just 30 days, you embark on a journey of self-discovery and growth. This free resource offers a series of messages, each packed with proven methods to simplify and apply God's word to your life. Inside this series, you'll find practical strategies to unleash your leadership potential. You need to learn how to harness the power of God's wisdom and apply it to your everyday decisions. Discover how to lead with integrity, inspire others, and make a lasting impact. But this just isn't another series. It's a transformative experience that will help you find your purpose, ignite your passion, and unleash the lion within. So visit thelionwithin.us forward slash unleash to claim your free copy of this series. Don't wait any longer. Visit thelionwithin.us forward slash unleash and become the leader God intends you to be.